want you to think back to when you got started in this field, and, and I want to know, is there something or a, a message maybe that someone shared with you that you'd like to share moving forward, or maybe there's a message now that you really think needs to be told to the young professionals coming up? I'm sure there's plenty of messages that I got when I was younger, but I think as far as the, the most helpful advice I can give anybody in this industry who's coming up now is a couple things that I've learned as a coach, and, and I've learned these things by being a parent. Patience. Have patience when you're teaching athletes things. Don't expect that they're going to make the mechanical changes that you want them to make the first time, the tenth time, the hundredth time you've showed them something. You have to be patient, but on the flip side of that, you have to be consistent in your message. If this athlete is having a hard time dorsiflexing the foot in an acceleration pattern, you have to keep telling them because at some point in time it will stick. So you have to have patience, you have to be consistent, and then you have to pick your battles. And this is something, again, I've learned by having kids. Pick your battles. No athlete is going to walk through your program and do 100% of the things that you want them to do. If they adhere and listen to 75 to 80% of your message, you've got to be pleased with that, particularly when we're talking about the elite athlete. You have to know when to back off the dogs and not be in their ear as a coach and just say, you know what? great job you're doing, the majority of things that I want you to do. Well, Lauren, man, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day. I know you're a busy guy with a lot of things going on. It's nice to get a chance to finally get you on the phone and talk some shop. I took a whole bunch of notes here, as I, as I always do during these interviews, so I'm sure I'm going to be sending you an email asking you questions about the combine prep stuff and, and probably more about the book, you know, just a whole bunch of other information I'm sure that we'll be willing to open up and, and talk about as we go forward here. Man, if, if anybody had any questions about anything we talked about on the, on the interview here or even to find out more information about the book, and I recommend anybody that's listening to this podcast here, go out and get the book. I think it's, it's an awesome insight into a, a really unique opportunity there. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Lanwell, how does someone go about reaching out to you, man? There's a couple different ways. Uh, I have a website that's in the process of being built. It is up, but it's under construction. It's www.laurenlando, that's L-O-R-E-N-L-A-N-D-O-W, performance.com. You can reach me there. I'm on Twitter at Lauren Lando, and also direct email me at lmlando at gmail.com. If you are interested in the book, it's Building a Championship Team While Nobody's Watching, My Offseason with the Denver Broncos, and you can find it on, on Amazon.com. Again, Lauren, man, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day here. I, again, if anyone's listening to the podcast, I would definitely suggest they reach out to Lauren here to ask him some questions about training. He's an outstanding resource. The book's just an awesome other opportunity to, to have some motivation and inspiration and uh, to have coaches reading it and to get some other ideas and just – to get people to think about a bunch of different things, man. Uh, again, Lauren, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day here. I, I look forward to actually meeting you in person one day. If you're ever in the Baltimore area, please look me up, and I will definitely take you out to dinner. Same thing, uh, if I can ever do anything to help you, uh, please do not hesitate to let me know, my man. All right, thank you, Coach, and keep providing the great information, the great resource that you are to all trainers and coaches who have been in the field and for the ones who are just getting into the field. What a great resource and opportunity. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words there, Coach, man. I look forward to keeping in touch, man. All right, thank you.